What's happening? Brian Tong here and welcome to the Apple Bite for all the good and bad inside the world of Apple. And the hot rumor this week is new evidence of a 13-inch MacBook Pro with a Retina display. Now, Digitimes continues to tap into its supply chain and claims that Apple is back on track for a Retina display 13-inch MacBook Pro after reported manufacturing delays and now has a chance to debut before October this year. To add more fuel to this fire, a Geekbench 2 benchmark submitted late last month identified as MacBook Pro 10 II appears to be the Retina Display 13-inch Pro in question, but has not been confirmed. Now, last month, an online battery test also identified an unreleased computer known as MacBook Pro 10 II that was believed to be the same machine. The new MacBook Pro listed is shown running a 2.9 gigahertz Intel Core i7 Ivy Bridge processor with a specific build of mountain line, but only four gigs of RAM. Its Geekbench score came in at 7806, which is lower than the current 15-inch Retina MacBook Pro, but higher than early 2011 13-inch MacBook Pros. So we'll just wait and see if this will be the next Retina display computer. Now in iPod news, yes, I said it, iPod news, the iPod Nano might be going retro. According to Japanese blog Mako Takara, they report the new iPod Nano will not be square-shaped like the current model. Instead, the new Nano will allegedly have a rectangular screen that will probably be a touch screen and will also have a home button. It's also rumored to feature a new dedicated iTunes service, bringing new features and ditching Ping. Wait, you don't remember Ping? Oh my gosh, Ping, what's up, dude? I haven't seen you in so long. Oh my god. Um, I'm Daniel. Well, not that ping, but I pretty much hated the square nano design. A lot of people loved making it into a watch. Nerd alert! So if this is legit, I'll welcome it back with open arms. Now, Apple has also ceded the gold master of OS X Mountain Lion to developers. This is the final version of Mountain Lion that will be available publicly to users sometime in July. Now, there's a rumored date of July 19th that hasn't been confirmed by anyone. And I know there's a lot of you that can't wait for this cat to get out of the bag. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. All right, and not so great news. Apple recently pulled all 39 of its products from ePeat, removing the green certification from its products. Now, ePeat is a nonprofit group backed by manufacturers and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. The decision might have been related to the new design of the new Retina Display MacBook Pros that have their batteries glued into the case and can't be disassembled for recycling. Cities like our own San Francisco, where we hug trees and separate our compost, have gone on the record and said they will no longer buy Apple products because they require ePeat computers. Now, I know this isn't the sexiest story. It probably won't stop all of you from buying new machines, but we'll see if they change their stance if more cities do the same. All right, to the quick bites. A few key apps have new updates. The Google Plus iOS app now includes full iPad support, integration of the new Google Plus events feature for picture uploads, and you can now join and start Hangouts directly in the app and even stream it to your TV over AirPlay, which is pretty slick. Also, the Twitter app received an update with expanded tweets, improved search, and my favorite new feature, the ability to now get notifications from specific accounts directly through the app instead of over text messages. Now, we've also talked about Apple's iTravel application concept in the past, and the Cupertino kids have been granted the patent for their NFC-enabled iTravel transportation ticketing app that was filed back in 2008. It's a very detailed filing for implementation and use for iTravel, and even with NFC being adopted slowly, it hints at the feature being really taken seriously by Apple for the future. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week's show. It's a short one. I'm off to Comic-Con, but we will return next week with a fully loaded one. Email us at theapplebyte at cnet.com. I'll write you back. I'm Brian Tong. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time for another bite of the apple.